previously on the official server series. We head over to Ramishka where we find a couple of garage bases. We find a load of crates, a barrel, nothing too extravagant. In the second code we break, there's a little bit more and a medium tent. Things are really looking promising. We head back to base and find our massive stash has been hit. We end up in Nevaeh Petrovka where we find a large base, but no matter what we do, we cannot get into it. And then we come across a huge river find. We now have everything we need to blow through that base. So we head back over, set a load of grenades up, ready to go, and this happens. Man, we get snipes. We've lost everything. So we end up back at the coast. We run back to the big old base. And it's been hit. And as we're running away, we come across this. So what are we going to find here? Ah, oh, it's been hit as well, man. Everything around here has been hit. Oh, at least I've left a nice little message for her, uh, <laughs> the base owner. Ain't going to be nothing left here. Oh, mind you, they've got a cooking pot there. What have we got here? Probably nothing. Yeah, blood collection kit. We might as well take it. We may as well take it. Let's get the glasses on. But you know what? We know exactly where we got to go to get gear back up. So, we've just left the barn. We're heading west along the tree lines between Tizzy and the Nevaeh Petrovka and Sinistock towns. Now, considering... We basically got absolutely nothing, having been um, annihilated uh, <laughs> at this base uh, earlier on. And we've managed to grab a little bit of gear, as you've just seen, on our way back up here. Which is basically nothing. We have nothing at all, really. We have a repeater with four bullets. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, the journey on episode four... We're going to do a little bit different. There'll be no cinematics. And we're going to run episode 4 as a bit of a live here. So what you now see is unadulterated, not touched, purely recorded live footage. That's it. And where we're heading now is west of the map to the river's just below Sinistock, where we're going to try and hopefully get extremely geared straight back up with all of the little finds we've made in the rivers. So that's where we're heading off to. Now, having a little look at where we currently are, we're not far off the town of Sinistock. The barns over on the left-hand side are the clear indicator um, of exactly where we are here. Obviously, Tizzy's to our right. So, directly north in this position, to our right, it would be straight up to Tizzy Military. But uh, we've got no interest in going there now, at this moment in time. And why would we? Because we could spend ages looting about, trying to find something, or a load of gear... Then we could hit some heli sites. Then we could try and raid somewhere. We could do all kinds of things. But I don't need to do any of that at all when we know everyone's already done that for us. Because we found stashes. So that's where we're heading. Now I'm not sure how this episode is going to go down to be fair. Because uh, normally it's all... Um, it's all edited to a degree, so you miss out the boring stuff, like sometimes eating. We'll probably miss out this entire run and edit it just before we get to the river. Um, but I think there's also a need to show authenticity, to show that it is unscripted and it is 100% raw live footage. So... Um, that is what we're going to do on this episode. So I hope you like it, guys. I hope you uh, enjoy 
actually seeing the full live footage. What I will do is I will cut out little parts um, of this because it does go on for four hours. Uh, so what you're seeing now is as it was. Nothing's been edited yet. But there will be times when I edit long periods of 15-20 minutes where I'm trying to get dry and I'm just sitting there probably under a fire or just taking 10 minutes out of the water because you get cold obviously very quickly. So when you do see a cutscene, that is what that is. But there's not too many of those. So we're just coming out uh, underneath the town of Sinister. As you're going to see dead ahead, uh, we're not far off now. There's the old northern mountain range. Over down that way is Lopatino, Northwest Airfield, directly south of us. And this is the little industrial estate on the left we're about to hit. Well, actually, we're going to run by it. But this is the uh, the little industrial just before the town of Sinistock. Top of Linky is just down there to the left. And for those of you that may not know, the Vea Petrovka is a little bit further on past Topolinki to the east. Now these set of bushes and trees that you can see dead ahead of me. Not that. That's the industrial one behind us. We're just checking to make sure no one is scouting us or following us from all angles. So this set of trees here. I find a lot of stuff here. Hell of a lot of stuff here. So we're just checking to see if we can find any dig sites. But uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time here at all. We're just going to browse it. It's always worth checking these areas. And this is a dirt path that also leads up to Tizzy to the right there. Leads up to the satellite near Tizzy, so the far west side of Tizzy. Okay, so we are now approaching the town of Sinistock, and we've got to be extremely careful. It's uh, a high pop server right now. Um, we haven't heard any gunshots for a little while. But as I was leaving the barn earlier... There was a lot of activity in Northwest Airfield. Now, some of the variables we don't know about here is is somebody going to be at the, at the well just up here, filling up on water? Is there a base in this Sinistock area? I haven't extensively scouted Sinistock, to be fair. Um, quickly take care of this zombie. And check out that big barn over there in a second. This is another thing we'll talk about. While we're on route here. Um, oh, this is locked. Okay. Oh, that's right. On the update, they do uh, server reset. Doors are locked. Uh, a lot of them. <clears throat> Another thing to talk about while we're on route then is... And this has been a big topic. A big topic of conversation of late. I get asked... Well, I've been asked a couple of times now. Why don't you block zombies when you're attacking them? Well, let me, let me answer that really simply for you. As a solo player on official servers, you've got a balance to make. If you don't block a zombie, there's a chance you'll get cut, there's a chance you'll get ill. But if you've got the alcoholic tourniture, which I always carry, then you just apply that and your disease will go away very, very quickly. Your illness will go away. Now, the reason why I don't block a lot of the time is because... On a high pop server or a full server, you have to be in and out. You can't afford to be messing around with zombies. So I will take a hit or two in order to deal with that zombie as quickly as possible. So I hope that answers your questions as to why or any questions on the on the topic. Um, it's quite simple for me. I mean, if I was with two or three players here, then I would definitely block... I would take better care of my character in that regard. Um, but you're going to see shortly, we run into a couple of zombies here. And I'm not really interested in blocking here. We're right next to Tizzy. Doors are locked again. There we go. Um, this one's screaming at us. 
And we're literally going to say, do you know what? We're just going to throw punches and get it done. There you go, I'm cut. I'm going to bandage up. Um, if my uh, virus symbol comes up, then of course I will just apply my alcoholic tourniture as I said I would. Other than that, I want to be in and out of here as quickly as possible. So we're now looking to move on immediately. We'll quickly check in here. And don't forget, you need to be moving left to right, zigzagging. You need to be moving about regularly. Otherwise, you are just going to get sniped. Come on then. I mean, the zombies act really strange on here since the last couple of updates. I've noticed a massive change in the uh, in the zombie behaviour from 17 to 18 update days. Um, nowadays, zombies used to hit twice, so you could block block the two hits, then attack them. They don't do that anymore. Since the 118 update, you will find you will block two, and they'll hit you again for the third or fourth time. So, there is another reason. It is very unpredictable now. So what I'm doing here is, I'm just saying, do you know what? I'm not going to hit you there. You can't hit him through the shed either. Um, so just throw a couple of punches. We know he's just going to stand there. And the reason for that is this. You can trap a zombie. I've worked this out, by the way. If you throw punches very close to a zombie, but you've got a building in between you, the zombie will stand still. So it looks like, to the untrained kind of eye, that you just you're just hitting anything you can, or you're even missing your shots on a zombie, <laughs> punch wise. But what it does is they stand still, like you just seen. So that's why I do that. I just give you a little update on my infantry. We've just shown you again. The only, the real important thing we've got here right now is we've got a cooking pot. That's it. Everything else, we are happy to dispose of. But don't forget, this is a wolf area. We're not too far off. There's a big old uh, river find we made in uh, episode 3, just around the corner from here. And that's where we're heading to. Um, it'd be interesting also to see, because it's been in, in reality, in real life terms, we haven't been back here for about five days now. Episode 3 was filmed past that time frame. So we don't know... Oh, great. Wolves. Server reset any second as well. Um, so we don't know if anyone's interacted with that site. They more than likely have, and they've probably seen we've taken a few bits. They may have moved everything they may not have done. Okay, so here's an interesting one, right? So we are screwed here with wolves. We're cut. There's loads of wolves. We've got four bullets. We're in a busy populated server in a busy area. And if we use the weapon, the gun, we're giving away our position immediately. And if that stash is still here, if they're nearby, we ain't going to stand a chance of getting that stuff. So I'm just scaring off the wolves here in the hope that we'll get to server reset in the next minute. I am going to have to patch very quickly. So we'll just mess about in this tree. So we are kind of covered from anyone who may be watching, who may be trying to snipe. But this is, uh, I suppose you could call this pretty shit gameplay, but I could die here. But if I've timed this right, as long as I can bandage once, server reset's going to hit just before I would die. There you go, good. Okay, so server reset has happened. Now the great thing here... Otherwise, I'd have had to use the repeater. Um, is that now I've just logged back in. And I have edited that little time frame out. My guy's a little bit messed up. But I'm not dead. I've got no bleeds. And the walls are gone. So remember that on a server reset. All these little tips do help you if you're seriously in a mess. So just remember that. Now, I can deal with this. I'm more than happy with my character's position right now. Because we know that there is a river find about 400 metres away from us. Now, the only thing you cannot account for is if that wolf spawns suddenly wolf uh, spawn back in now. If they do, we're in deep shit and we're going to have to use the repeater. But I'm banking on the fact that that's not going to happen immediately. And if we can get to this stash, albeit a little bit hurt and... Um, 
not with full stamina here, then we're going to be in a good position. If I remember correctly, I think there's an LAR in this stash. There's a number of top tier items in this stash. And I'm just hoping the owner either hasn't noticed. I can't even remember exactly what I took from this stash. So I'm hoping... I know we took the protective case out and made it an IED, but put it back. And we took a couple of other little bits. So I'm hoping that the owner from this stash either hasn't noticed fully yet or has not been back here yet and hasn't moved everything. Because if that's the case, we are about to get properly geared up very, very quickly. And this is why I have not gone straight to Tizzy to loot up. Because someone else has done the work for us. Okay, so I know it's near the bridge over here. Because we, on episode 3, we jumped out of the water, got up the bridge on the other side of this bridge to make the IED. So I know it's very close. And that's another thing. Always have little pointers, little target sites, so you can remember exactly where you've been. Now, I can't remember, though, if it's exactly just before the bridge, under the bridge, or just after the bridge. Please still be here. Yo, there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, so... Straight away, we're getting rid of the backpack. We may as well change our entire clothing here into some decent stuff. Get rid. Take a little bit of ammo. We are going to need a knife, plus that big thing we don't need, the old meat cleaver. We'll tie up a little bit of space for us. We, we'll just be nice. We'll put this in, uh, in the boxes. So we, we're taking, but we're giving back a little bit. Okay, where's the big stash? Somewhere near here. Oh, there you go. There's Savannah. That definitely, definitely is better than a repeater. There is a silenced uh, Mosin, scoped Mosin here, but we're not going to use that. I'm going to use the, the Savannah. I love the Savannah, by the way. I think it's one of the better sniper guns. That's nice. 75 round drum mag. But we're not going to be taking stuff we don't need. 101. Another scope. Helmet. I think there's a night vision in here somewhere. If I remember correctly, there's a set of night vision attached to a tactical helmet somewhere in here. Giddy suit. There's a, yeah, Savannah Ma There's a blaze, scope blaze. Okay, so now we've got a scope for our Savannah. Now, because we haven't made a lot of noise, I am kind of taking a little bit of extra time here in the hope that we don't get discovered. We are quite well hidden, and only really the base owner, the base owner, the, um, the stash owner is going to know that this is here. Unless, of course, someone else is aware. Oh, there's some food for us. So now, and uh, some tets and some other little bits. We may need to sharpen this stone a bit later. We'll take the M4 rounds. Box of nails. So basically, I'm hoping we're going to get a raid, a full raid kit out of this as well. I haven't made up my mind yet whether we're going to go all the way down south in the river so there's another big stash down south we found. Um... Or if we're then going to go base hunting again. But in any case, we've still got to get back home. And we are the complete opposite side of the map for that, yeah. So what else have they got? So there's another savannah there. Another mag. We'll take the mag out of that. They're both worn, so it doesn't matter which savannah we take. So he's got VSD mags. But there's obviously not a VSD here that I can see anyway. Not that we've come across. Do you know what? I've not found an actual VSD on an official server for so long. For so long. So we're going to take the additional rounds. Lockpit we're definitely going to take. Just key that in. Yeah, we're good. We is good. And we're taking our time. We're just making sure we are not missing anything here. Because we want to get, like I say, fully geared up. Now, I think there's barrels some. There is. There's barrels somewhere. Oh, there you go. There's a couple more crates here. Tundra. There you go. A couple of useful bits. Some more food. Yeah, we might as well take a mask out of that. Gives a little bit more uh, 
a little bit more cover. Now where are... I think... I'm sure there's two barrels here as well somewhere. I'll quickly get through this. This is a bit, little bit time consuming guys, so apologies here. But, ah, oh, there you go, look, you've got the explosive rounds. But that's, as I remember correctly, there is no M79 here. If I, if I remember this right, I'm sure there isn't an M79 here. We'll give them our shitty top. Lockpick, is that in better condition than what we've got? Okay, so there's another tactical helmet. I'm sure there was some night vision here last time I was here. Anyway, anyway. Oh yeah, there's an LAR, don't forget. There's a, there was an LAR here somewhere. Was it in the barrels though? I'm not sure. Are the barrels still here? Okay, a little bit more food. Well, the owner's been here recently, clearly. There you go, we've got a full kit now. We do have a full kit. Starting to look the part. We're starting to look geared a little bit. A little bit. We're not done yet though. And we ain't finished. We need to... Uh, we really need to get ourselves fully, fully kitted from this. Because once we have done, there'll be no pot as an M4. Oh, and we've got loads of M4 bullets as well. Okay. I don't remember the M4, but okay, cool. Is there any... Oh, I might as well take the um, black face mask. I think I put that there in episode 3. Yeah, cool. Anyway. Uh, what else is here? No, we just send that. Our um, health is starting to go down. We need to be a little bit sharp about... Yeah, oh, well, there you go. There's the LAR. It's damaged, but we'll uh, we'll sort that out. I knew there was an LAR. Superb. Now, we've got a top weapon. Watch out, server. Watch out. Now our vitals are not looking great and we are going to have to get out of the water very shortly and uh, and recover ourselves here. We'll sort out the LAR in a minute. We'll just take a load of 308s. Might um, as well take some morphine. We're going to need that and that. Uh, take as much food as we can. Gloves. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There's the night vision. Now we can go all green, yo. Now we're looking good. Now we are looking good. Love that. Look, from that stash, we have completely, completely got back in shape. Superb. I think that's it for this stash. Is that it? Is there any more? There was another crate. We can't afford to spend too long here. Come on, come on, come on. I think that's it. Okay, let's uh, let's get out. Let's get ourselves recovered a tad. And we can't be right next to that stash either, just in case the owner pops back while we're trying to recover here. We don't we haven't even got room for that. So let's... Um, we need to get all our clothes all rinsed out. We need to get a bit, little bit of medicine inside us. Get our vitals back up. See, this is the boring bit. This is the boring bit, because this takes... For my character to get back to anywhere near white levels here, all across the board, it's going to take about half an hour. And this is where a lot of us content creators will edit all this out. But on this episode, we're going to keep it real. When we've completely finished wringing our clothes out, setting up our mags... Um, Make sure we're fully fed, watered, medicined up, and pretty much waiting to dry out. If there's a period, which there is in this case, shortly, of just sitting there for 20 minutes, just waiting for ourselves to get right, then I will edit, and I have edited that bit out on here. So, we're just making sure all our mags are good. In fact, we don't need that many mags. We'll, we'll dump all that off, to be fair. We don't need M4 rounds right now. 556, five, we don't need... We're not running with that M4. And some of you will say, we'll go back and get the M4 as well. Take it, but... It's just too much to carry. I'm not going to have enough stamina. 
we've taken pretty much everything decent other than the M4 from that stash. And who knows? Has the base owner been back? Base owner. Has the stash owner been back? Well, I think they probably have. Um, so they probably know that their stash has been interfered with. And they've still left it. It's either that or they've, they've left the server or they've just not been back. Anyway, our vitals are now starting to creep up. So we're just going to sort the infantry a tad. And again, I said we keep it real. So we're going to keep, keep it rolling. We're not going to edit a lot of this out. We're gonna edit some of it. So we might as well just uh, use this time wisely. Got a load of those little sardines, haven't we? I mean, we don't need all these nails either. We only need, like, one set of nails in case we come across a base and we need to watch tower up. So um, we'll bin a lot of stuff now, I think. We'll get rid of anything we don't need. But we have picked up a couple of landmines from that as well. So we've got the ability to now set some traps should we require it. Okay, inventory is looking better. We've got a little bit of space. A little bit of space now. It's just me messing about. Uh, we could probably eat a lot of those sardines, actually. And we don't need two lighters either. Streamline all of that. Get rid of that one with lesson, obviously. That can go back. Okay. We're not ill. We're a little bit damp. We're still cold, but we're not we're not blue cold. So we are starting to uh, heat up a little bit. We don't need that either. We'll keep the battery. That can go. I never use those little lights and little torches. Now we have got room for that. In case we need to build later on. Okay, so that's the gear we're leaving behind. Making sure everything's keyed in as it should be. A little bit of food, a little bit of water. And now I think we're going to skip to edit. So, we've just skipped 15 minutes. You'll see our vitals have now gone up. But we're not in the white yet. But we can't just stay there. So we are moving a little bit further down river. And we're just going to dredge the rest of this river. Because we haven't actually dredged below here. We haven't done, actually, between here and around the dam, actually. I think we did a little bit further up, but other than that, we've not dredged any of this from here down to the dam. Because the other big stash is near Zavir. But you never know. We may come across something. We may get a little bit lucky. I mean, there is some quite deep water down this way. So, um, who knows? Who knows? So, the server population in that time period has gone down to medium. So, there's less people online right now. But this is fluctuating very, very quickly. And as you can see, our vitals are now starting to go down again. Our yellow health symbol has started to decline. So, we can't stay in the river too long. Our temperature's dropping. Always check underneath this little bridge as well, if you're river dredging. Yeah, this is too shallow around here, really, to find any kind of stashes without you seeing them normally. But you never know, though. You know, there are little bits of areas up and down here where you can fit a load of crates if they're stacked on top of each other, and you're not going to see them. What's the chances of us stepping into something else down this route in between the two big stashes we knows here? I think that's going to be pretty remote at the moment. Because, sheerly because there are two huge stashes we found. One at the bottom end and one at the top end. So, I'm not expecting to find anything else. But there's still a couple of good areas here that we, uh, we're definitely going to have a look at. And we're also going to have to, I think we're going to have to put a fire on at some point as well. Just to speed up our recovery process. 
Yeah, this is all too shallow around this bit. And don't forget, this is the whole point of this episode, is to get ourselves back geared as quickly as possible. And you know what? We're not even taking much of a risk here. I don't think I've ever been killed when I've been river dredging at all. I don't think I ever have. In fact, I cannot remember a single time where I've encountered or had an interaction with a player whilst I've done this. Or whilst I've been doing this. I have killed players at stash sites before. Quite a lot of times. But not when I've been on a run searching. So it shows you just how safe, really, this is. I'm sure there's loads of players around us. They're probably running to the left, to the right of us, above us, below us. But they're just um, not able to see us. Or it's been a couple of seconds too late. Or a couple of seconds behind. Who knows? Okay, so while we're doing this, uh, while we're on this little journey right now, I might as well uh, have a brief talk to you about why we've decided to um, treat this episode as a live. Episode 4 as a live. Well, like I said, I touched on it briefly earlier. Uh, I think it's always best for content creators to show authenticity sometimes. And uh, I have had a few comments with people saying, you know, it's impossible, you know, you find all this stuff uh, on live servers. And I'm sitting there saying, well... You've seen the videos. It's all been live recorded, you know. There's only a couple of situations in the past. Um, in fact, there's been two videos where I've had to recreate two finds. Um, and that's only ever happened, I think, twice where I've had to do that. Um, and that's why we have our own server. So that if I need to recreate any kind of situation, then I can actually try to recreate it. It's very difficult recreating an actual event of what's gone on to keep full authenticity um but ultimately that's what we have to do that's what you know that's what you guys want to see so to do every now and then to do it actually live is um it is boring for some of you some of you don't want to see the live you want to see straight to the action and i get that you can't please everyone though you've got a large majority who want to actually see you go through it live time. Then you've got another large majority who say, do you know what? It doesn't matter to me whether it's authentic or not. Oh, there's wolves. <laughs> We've got to be careful now. Um, we want to see the good stuff. Um, we need to consider that our health has gone down to red now. So um, we are cold. We're shivering. Okay, so 20 minutes later and we've uh, basically dealt with the wolves. We logged out for about five minutes, and then we just sat there trying to get our health up. Now, as you'll see on the right-hand side, our health is fully white. It's not going to remain white um, because we've just obviously logged um, back in. So it's just resetting. And as you can see, we were yellow, but we've immediately now gone down to red. So we really cannot afford to stay here long. We're just going to do a little bit more down here. And once we get literally probably by the rocks down the end, we're going to head off, get warm, and then we're going to have to spend a good 15... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was going to say 15, 20 minutes and get ourselves set. So there's crates here. Did I just see a VSD? There's a goddamn... V there's a VSD. There's an M79. And there's more wolves. Oh, we, we can't deal with all this right now. Okay, let's get up the hill. Let's get up the hill. Let's sort our health out. Let's get a fire going. Let's get as far up the hill as we possibly can so that no one's going to see this fire. Ring our clothes out again. Hopefully we've chucked the wolves off our scent a little bit. We can't get into another wolf fight here. If we do... In fact, we don't need to go. I'll tell you, we can go by this tree here. Yeah, that tree there. We're quickly going to wring all our clothes out. But that tree right in front of us, the bigger one. I think we'll get away with um, masking over a bit of a fire going there. Because it'll be going uphill. 
And the smoke is probably going to hit the treetop only. That's drenched. Let's take care of that. And I can't hear the wolves anymore. That's a positive sign. Okay, so straight away, look, we've just hit yellow again, having wrung our clothes out. But our guy is seriously struggling. Everything's pretty much wet. Let's get some food in us. So there's, a, there's another stash in the water here. A VSD, an M79, a load of ammo for the, uh, the M79 as well. So we found three crates. Man, this is what this is what happens. You when you least expect it. When you least expect it. This is Daisy. Something happens. You'll probably get killed fully geared. You'll be pissed off. And a few moments later, or maybe an hour later, you just get geared. Unexpectedly, something will happen. You'll kill someone. You'll get geared. You'll find something, or you'll hit a base, you'll get geared. That's what I say to you. Never, ever, ever have fear. Have gear fear. Don't... You don't need to. You're always going to get stuff back on there. And never get attached to your loot. Because it's always going to get raided. It's always going to get taken. You are going to get killed, no matter how good you are at this game. You're always, always going to end up dead at some point. So who cares? Play the game. Enjoy it. Run with your best gear. Okay, I think this is a suitable place. I think the light is in the... Yeah, there you go. There's the lighter. Let's get this fire going. Is it going to let me... Yeah, there you go. Cool. We're on a hill. We've got good vantage points. We've got a lot of cover. The smoke is not going to be seen. The fire won't be seen because we're right up to the tree here. We can take all our gear off pretty much as well. We'll eat at the same time. Anything that is even remotely damp, we need to get straight. We also need new shoes as well. Yeah, that can come off. Might as well strip the old... Might as well strip down completely, actually. Guns are good. Yeah, screw it. Let's get it all off. Get it all off. So this shouldn't actually take too long now. Our food and water is good. Our blood's great. Our health is yellow and climbing. A lot of our gear should probably be done now. So, uh... Yeah, there we go. We're good. We're good. A couple of other little bits to take care of. Some more food in us. Come on, shoes. We really need some boots, to be fair. There you go. Job done. So we're actually warm. Getting hot for a change. And these rivers do take that off you very, very quickly. So we're ready, pretty much ready to go here. Anyone steps across us, they're getting taken out by our newly found LAR. We've actually got quite a lot of garbage in our infantry here, but, uh, yeah. We'll take it for the time being. We'll grab a little bit more. Might as well eat all these sardines as well. Create a little bit more room in our infantry. While we're trying to recover and recuperate a little bit. I can't wait to get back down to this stash. It looks like there's only three crates in total, but um, there's a VSD there. And like I said, I've not seen one of those on officials. I've not found one. I've not raided any bases with them in. I've not seen them for ages on here. Ages. Okay, so we've got a little bit more room in our infantry now. And I always drop the guns on the floor, as uh, as you will well know by now. 
drop the gun on the floor before pick it up, which is a silent way of getting that gun in your hands without making any noise whatsoever. So when I've eaten this, the gun will go in my hands and you won't hear a thing. My guy's actually hot. Probably for the first time. There you go, didn't hear a thing. On this new life. He's actually warm. We're just uh, maximising our infantry stuff here. Tidying up the nails. We ain't going to need those. They're going to be burnt. Got another little slot now. Another little slot free. Little margins. Little tiny margins. That's all we're after. It all helps. There we go. Perfection. With what we got, anyway. There you go. You see the difference. Hear the difference. That's you taking your gun out normally. Compared to when you drop the gun on the floor. Doesn't make a sound. Okay, we're just going to hang fire a little bit longer till the fire goes out. We ain't got long. Badly damaged. And this is the sad, boring reality of what a live is like. I mean, I love lives. I love doing them. But, um, you know, you do get to see all the unedited bits. And you are going to spend considerable, considerably more time without action. Okay. Let's get down here and see what exactly is in this stash down here. Let's swap that out. We'll go with the LAR as well. We could do with an ATOG for the LAR, to be fair. If we can get hold of one of them. You can hear our guys. He's still not best happy. Now, I can't remember exactly the exact location. I think it's directly below us. But was it a little bit to the left or right? I'm not sure. Our priority at the time was to get away from them walls, which haven't come to see us, by the way. And we've uh, clearly lost scent there. I think it's pretty much here. Yeah, 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 there you go, there you go. There's a crate there. Two crates empty. Where's it? Where's the good stuff? Where's the good stuff? It must be over in. It? Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay. So there's a giddy... Hold on. Hold on a minute. There was a VSD here a minute ago. Hmm... I don't think anyone's been back in that time. Where... Here we go. Here we go. Ain't gonna fit in there. But... We can get hold of the uh, M79. And then it will fit there. Take a bit more food, I suppose. Starting to rain now as well. There's another VSD. And there's a claim... Oh, shit. What is going on here? Man, these stashes are... We are killing it. There's more. Oh, shit. Assault helmet. Visor. Grenades. Yo, this is the third big stash on this server in this whole river. In this one river. Oh my god. What is going on here? They love the rivers. People love these rivers. They're not even going to touch that. Oh, you are. Is there anything else? There's loads of crates here. Loads of crates. Oh my god. We're already fully stacked. We're already stacked. In fact, we were stacked from the first stash we hit. Is there anything else? What it looks like... I'm swimming again. Hold on. What it looks like... That's it. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's how you get away with hiding barrels. You go to the bit where you swim. And it, in your hands, and it drops down. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think there's anything new. Oh my god, they're both full. Those protective cases. I hate it when it does that. 
Those protective cases are full of M79 ammo. Fucking hell. Unbelievable. Well, we can't take anything else. We've got no room. We've got no other... We've got no other bags here. We could leave that and take some other little bits. I suppose they're coming handy. Well, we've got our M79 back that we've lost in the in the uh, in the last episode. It's got a silencer on that AUR as well. Anyway, anyway, our health is going to be declining pretty quickly. So we move on. We move on. Now, surely. This is the third big stash we have found in this one long ass river. Surely, surely we're not going to find any more. In fact, I think this is the most successful one river dredging session. Have I said that right? Okay. The most successful loot discovered in one river... I have probably ever had. And I've found a lot of big shit. A lot of big stuff in the past. Loads of stuff in the past. I'm like, I live for that. I always find stuff. Years of practice. Knowing where people hide stuff. Knowing the top locations that people like to hide stuff. Keeping up with trends from bases. No, don't want the base to build anymore because it's too difficult or, you know, it's too easy to raid. Okay, dig sites. No, we went through that phase. People don't really like dig sites anymore. Then he went to crates. Dumping crates without digging them. Uh, that still happens, but people are not really that interested. Okay. Now it's about rivers. And, oh my god. Are we profiting all the time at the moment from these rivers? Man, that's... That is unbelievable. I've not found a VSD for so long, and there are two. Not one, there are two in one stash site. Oh my god. Well, they were obviously uh, located, damaged, or badly damaged, no doubt. And uh, the owner has restored them to warn, but... Man, two VSDs. We've even left one there. But the thing is now, if we get killed again, you know what we're going to do to get geared back up. We don't need to loot. We're coming straight back to these stashes and getting geared up again. Now, think about it like this. After you've played the game for as long as I have and got all the hours I have in it, you've done looting, looting, looting every single day. Every day you play, you're looting. You're looting. You spend hours some days more successful than others, but... Why loot when you can go about it tactically a little bit different like I now do, or I've learned to do, and you're getting the most geared you've ever been? Alright, you might sacrifice some interactions doing that, but now I am ready to fight anything. You can bring me a squad now, bring a squad on, and I'm going to stand a very good chance of taking an entire squad out. With just me as a solo player with the gear I've got on me right now. Especially with the M79. Anyway, it's getting really wet, rainy. Um, our vitals are not too bad, but we can't afford to stay in this river for too long. Under these current conditions. We've not found anything else yet. And to be fair, I don't expect to. There's one more big site south of here quite far south of here that we know's there because we've already found it but the same questions remain is it still there or have the owners moved all of those crates or moved all of the good stuff from those crates because we took a lot from there on the first occasion we took loads from there and that isn't that funny right isn't that funny we get our first m79 in there we lose it because we get hit at our base. Or in our, our stash sites. We come back out and hit the same river. Another stash in the same river. And there's another M79. So we get our shit back. 
Well, it ain't even us. We've we've stolen it off someone else, and we've stolen it again. Man, we are we are kitted. We are geared. But now back to reality. We could lose it all in a second here, and we're now back down to yellow health, and it's raining. Just keep those wolves away from me. That's all I've got to say. You know what we haven't thought about yet? Is after we've done all of this. We've still got to get back home. We've got to cross. A map. That is going to be majority of the time. Highly populated if not full. With all of this gear. With hardly any stamina. That is probably going to be the next episode. And I should imagine, because we've got a lack of stamina, we are going to end up getting into some serious shit. Anyway, we're not going to think too far ahead right now. We're just not expected to find anything more here, but we're still searching. On the off chance that there will be more for us to come back to at some point. In fact, we're not too far off one of my favourite spots. All-time favourite river spots. And if you go back and look at my... How how we made two fishermen into the most kitted duo in Daisy, I think it's called, that video. If we go back to that, you're going to know where this spot is because I give away the coordinates. So this little right turn up here. This is a, uh, a really nice little pond area that goes to the edge of the map it's all really shallow here but a bit further up there's a little pool that you will get away with dumping a load of crates plus we need to get out of the water to try and deal with our health scenario so we're probably going to find a tree bring all our stuff out that everything is completely drenched And then once we've done that, we'll move on again. We may even have to set another fire. But as you can see, our health is yellow, but going up now. So even though it's raining and we're cold, our temperature isn't blue yet. And that's got everything to do with the fire we lit earlier. We made ourselves extremely warm. And uh, there's a little medium, happy medium go between at the moment we're trading off with. We've not actually got any ammo for that. We haven't got a clip. There are clips in the other stashes, but we're not going back for that. We'll deal with that later. So yeah, as it's raining and we're not in a river, our health at the moment is on the up a little. But it's going to take a lot of time if we stay in these conditions and we'll eventually drop again where we get colder and colder. So do you know what? We're not going to have a look at that little pond up there, that little pool. We're going to just crack on down. Stay out of the water for a little bit and then crack on down a bit further to some of the, the more well-known spots that we know there's deep water. And uh, see if we can find anything there. And ultimately, we want to end up at that big old stash site where we originally found in the earlier episodes, episode two, I think it was, where we first got our M79 from. But this is a bit of a dodgy old journey because we've got to go past the hunting cabins, we've got to go past the dam, and that place is near Zlenengorst and highly, highly populated. So we're back in the water. There is some deep stuff around this little area, so we're just going to double check. Now these cave areas are really, really, well, valley areas are really cool. Real, real good areas to hide stuff. But I think you guys all know that now. Okay, so we're approaching, we're not far off, my top spot. But 
we're just going to get through these little these little systems first. The good thing about all this rain and mist is that it's very difficult to spot me down here and you're not going to hear me running around in the water unless you're right on top of me. So far, once again, our vitals are kind of holding out at the moment a little bit. We are going down, but our temperature has now turned blue and going down as well. We just don't want to hit the red. Now, do you know what? In this little patch here, I've never actually found anything, but it is deep enough all the way down there. And underneath this bridge coming up is another really good area. But, again, I've never found anything under the bridge. That surprised me, you know. That always surprises me. It's a great little landmark. You know exactly where you buried your sit or dumped it off. If you use this here, it is deep enough. But yet, no one uses it. In fact, I've never found any stashes there, ever. Strange. I'm sure we will from now on, though. By the time this goes out, I'm sure people will start using these type of areas. Okay, so we are really pushing our luck here. We're cold. Obviously, we're wet. Health is still declining, but still yellow. We just need to get down to our favourite spot, and once we've done that, we'll get out of the water, dry off again. We're going to bypass the hunters' cabins by running westerly around it. So we're going to go uphill, so we've got a view down below of them, in case we see anybody in there looting up or doing whatever they're doing. That'll also give us a chance to get warm again. And then we literally, all we need to do then is skirt round and head down to this massive stash that we originally found on our first ever uh, river dredging on this server. So I just hope it's still there. Well, in any case, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. The only thing that's like really annoying when you're running through rivers is your stamina. I mean, if someone saw me now and they had any, any kind of weapon, you'd expect them to win the fight, without a doubt. Okay, so we're right on top of my favourite place, my number one top site to always check. Just inside here. It gets really deep in a second. There we are. But there's nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. That's strange, isn't it? That's strange. The best place to hide stuff. All right, people know about it now. But, uh, yeah, anyway, anyway, move on. Right, we're out of the water. And we're making our way up now. Towards the hunter's huts, as I've said before. What am I doing? What am I doing here? Let's get, uh, let's get ringed completely out. Now, you may think to yourselves, why are you doing that? It's just going to get wet again. Because, the reason I'm doing it is because it takes a little bit of time to get drenched. And if I ring these out now, spend a couple of moments doing that, it just adds a little bit, a little bit, not an awful lot, but a little bit to your health uh, vital signs on the bottom right. So, that's what we're doing. We might as well make sure that's loaded with what we want it loaded with. So whatever was in there before, we're going to load up with an explosive round. There you go. Just in case, we're just preparing in case, in case we do run into a group or an individual somewhere. And there's a high chance we're about to do that in this area. 
So the server, I've just checking on my other screen and it is now full. Server is full. If we get around it without any interactions, then we've done extremely well. So we've still got a little way to go. As you can see, vital signs are still... They're still going up at the moment. But that's not going to last forever. Our temperature's actually fluctuating between dropping... There you go, it's dropping again. But then every few minutes going back up and then dropping again. Gradually, it goes again. Gradually, we will be dropping completely if we don't get ourselves dry and warm. So we're about two thousand meters out of the uh, the the big stash site that we came across. I'm just really excited, really curious to see if it's still there. And if it is, I know from my memory of last time we was here, there is. There was a couple of plate carriers. There was quite a few weapons, I think, that we left behind as well. We don't need weapons. We've got all the weapons we need. But um, I don't think... So there's the Hunter's Hut entrance, or back entrance down there. Um, I don't think there was anything down there that better is what we got. But, one, we just want to see if it's still there. And two, I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what was there other than there was a lot of good stuff so um man what's that in that i've just got a glimpse of something in that hunter's hut there all oh, right so it's a blue dry set okay fine okay it's not a blur it looked like a player lying down with a blue uh, dry sack or a turquoise dry sack there but anyway anyway it's not okay we are gonna have to cross over the road in a minute uh, and that brings us out by uh, Tresina Dam and the bridge next to it. So we need to very carefully navigate around that. That's coming up. There we go. This is the start of the uh, the metal wiring, the fence, right by the huts. We're going to go round it. The road's on our right. Okay, so now it's careful time. Probably better off going outside the perimeter fence again, getting up into the into the hilly area, overlooking it all. No one behind us, good. Wouldn't it be a shame after all this work and effort if there is someone nearby who sees us, gets a shot on us and kills us before we even know they're there. That would be a shame. But they would be kitted. And don't forget, in episode 3, we've given away so much kit when we got killed at that um, at that base. We actually enabled them to raid that base on our behalf. Unbelievable. We gave them the C4. C4, sorry. The plastic explosives. Don't have C4 on the official. But the uh, plastic explosives times 3... The only thing we didn't have with us at the time were detonators, but I'm sure whoever they were probably had access to detonators. Plus we had all those nades. Anyway, anyway, that's all done. That's gone. Been there. Unsuccessfully tried to hit a base. And rightly so, got snipes. We deserved that, to be fair. We did deserve it. Okay, so, the good news is, we are not too far. We're just going to whack ourselves with a little bit of morphine, give us a little bit of an injector here, because we want to get past this road. Get a little bit of food in us. What we don't want to do is get down, if this stash is still here, 
and end up with poor vitals or needing food and water. We don't want to be getting into that when we can sort it all out here. We're about a thousand meters out now, I think, roughly. Maybe a little bit more. I know the exact spot. And if I remember correctly, you could actually see a little bit underneath the river up here. Um, and you can see the crates. I can't remember how many crates there were, but there, there was a load. There was a load anyway. Okay, I think we're good. Might as well open up the food. See, it's always good to be prepared. It takes a little bit of time, but it's always good to make sure you are as prepared as you can possibly be. So if we do need food... What am I doing? It needs to be in my hand, doesn't it? Go on. If we do need food, then um, we can just key it in and eat immediately. But we're not going to need food right now. We're not going to need food until we're out of this uh, this area we're aiming for. So this is a cool little place for dig sites. Okay, so you can see we've taken quite a wide berth of that road there, that dirt path. So Trishina Dam is over to our left. Straight down a hill. Uh, we've already scouted out this section of the river. We did this on the way up um, after finding this uh, big old stash that we're about to go back to. So we don't really need to be uh, in the water here. I thought that was uh, I thought that was evidence of uh, a player there on the floor, but it's a broken down log. Good. We are good. So. Remembering the exact site, I know where it is. There are two little breaks in the water. Uh, where there's stones, big old rocks in the water. It's the second one. It's past the second one. Halfway down that little stretch. And there's some deep water down there. And that is where this stash was. So there's the first little break in the water. And this is a really uh, populated area all the way around Zavir. And the other one's around this corner, I think. Should we just double check anyway? We're good, we're white health, so why not? Why not? You never know, someone else may have put something in here since we were last here. So this is the other little break here. I found some big old stuff down there before. So it's not until it all opens up and on the right hand side there's an open field goes uphill um, and it, I think it's near the left hand corner rock formation. It's, it's, it's definitely in that area where it was anyway so I guess the, the real question is have they been back are they still using it and uh, have they actually left it all and continued to use it? Have they got a load more shit here? That's going to be really interesting. If that is the case. I don't know why you would do that if your stash has been hit. Leave it in the same spot and then continue to use it. Put all your good shit there. I don't know why you would do that. But uh, anyway. People do strange things on Daisy. Here's another spot. Okay, cool. So now there are no more breaks in the water, I don't think. And our health is declining again. It's not here, it's a bit further on. So there's the first deep area. It's round this bend. I'm sure it's round this bend. So there's the field opening up to the right, going uphill. And it's a little bit further on down here. I think it's about 20, 30 metres away. So it could pop up on the left hand side of the screen now. Anywhere around here. Or a bit further down. It's somewhere, somewhere around here anyway. It's in this area. That's if it's still here, obviously. 
fact, I'm thinking it's a little bit further down, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's around, it's around this bit somewhere. Come on now, where are you? Oh, I think it's just here. I think it's just here, a bit further on. Around here. Hmm. Is it here? Oh, no, 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 that's it, that's it. It's this next bit. That's right, it's this next bit. Somewhere around there. Where are you? Come on. Yo, yo, okay, okay. Yo, here we go. So there's, there we go, there we go. So this is the plate carriers. I think there's two or three plate carriers here. So we're definitely taking that. It's all fully pouched up as well. We need to take all that shit out. Look, we're running out of space. <laughs> running out of space, look. I really should just get this done nice and quickly. Can't be caught messing around in someone's stash here. There's a little bit of delay on my clicks for some reason, but anyway, anyway. We've done that back. What's in there? Okay, nothing really in there at all. Don't need any of that. This is another one of those rounds. We can't carry really anything else. Where is the rest of it? Is that it? No, there's more, but have they moved them? Oh, okay, okay. I'll tell you what there is here. There's a normalized suppressor that I can whack on that VSD. Get rid of that a minute. So I've got so much stuff now that I can't... Uh, I can't carry this stuff. Put that back in there. We'd be nice. Look, man, we're nice. We always put stuff back. We don't popcorn it. Yo, there's boots. At last, we've got boots. Gold eagle, no. Ah, oh, there's claymore still here. There's another plate carrier. I thought there was at least two. What else we got here? I can't remember what was here, you know. Yo, we've now got rounds for the... And we've got ammo. Great. So the VSD is now completely operable. Yeah, we've got, us, we've got a little gun on us as well. Don't need that. Oh, there's more. There's an M4. Building gear. There was more. I'm sure there was more, you know. Another plate carrier. So that's the third plate carrier. AS Val. Well, we ain't going to use that rubbish. We've now got a site for the LAR, which is great. Belt. We've got a belt. Another. We, we can't even carry it, to be fair. We could use a bag here, but then we've got no weapon and we're in a dodgy area on a full server, so we need a weapon in our hands. There's another plate carrier. Is there anything in there? No, nothing in the protective case. Okay. What else is there? Another M4. Oh, look, I, there isn't even room. But I love those suppressors, you know. Fuck it. Let's make room. No, we need another slot, then it's a free slot. Make room. We've got loads of that ammo. Where is it? There it is. There we go. So we've got another M4 suppressor. Okay, is that it? No, there's more. There's another plate carrier. Oh, look, there's loads of those as well. Right, we're done. We're good. We need to get ourselves dry, warm. Can't see anybody who's scouting us out. Okay, so I guess the next adventure is, or the next evolution to this series is us getting back home. And we are a long, long way from home right now. Will we make it? Will we make it? That's the question. Well, guys, let me know what you think about this episode being live. I think it's an interesting, it's an interesting difference from your normal videos. Uh, hardly any editing, only those areas where um, we didn't want you to hang about for large periods of time, 15, 20 minute periods of time when we just sat there trying to recover and get our health up. This has been a successful run. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have too. And don't forget, 
if you do like what you see and you want to support the channel, please, please don't forget to sub. Because at the moment, there are hundreds of thousands of people, or at least 170,000 people, clicking on these videos. And loads of watch hour times. But yet people are forgetting to sub. So please, please, please don't forget, if you like what you see, only if you like what you see or you want to see more, please sub to the channel. And we'll see you on the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching.